All right, everybody. Welcome to Big Frida's Garden Cookout. Thanks for joining us for our first ever Sunday brunch edition. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple things before we get started. Uh, you all are familiar with our merch. Rosé over there tonight. Today, just it's the usual script. Um, we've got our bar over there, and our the bathrooms are back that way. We ask it that you not to do any of those things that you just don't walk in front of this camera here. Beyond that, uh, when you tip your servers, you can either leave cash on the table or do a credit card at the merch table. And um, we encourage a lot of applause, uh, a lot of cheering, anything like that. Uh, we want to get rowdy. Just no heckling the diva while she's cooking. <laughs> and then uh, lastly, you've got some comments. We've got sheets of paper in front of you, please. Uh, we're going to come by and pick those up shortly. If you have any questions for Frida, we would love to, uh, love to get them from you. They help us keep the dialogue moving. So anyways, without further ado, I'd like to welcome the host today, Big Frida. Grab a knife and a fork, I'ma show you what it's for When you jump into the floor, wanna eat it up Grab a plate and a cup, when you move in And we are excited for everybody to be here the mission here at the City Park is to support the garden's mission, enriching life through knowledge, appreciation, through plants, culture, and art. Big thanks to City Park, my co-host, for allowing us to do this at the garden on each and every Sunday and each and every Friday for uh, my cookouts. We appreciate each and every person that's here. Y'all give it up for my DJ, DJ Juan Jordan. Y'all give it up for my manager, Reed. Give it up for my shaker, Tootie Toots. And my special guest for today, Wild Wayne from Q93. Yeah! So today we also have a, a drink on a, the menu. Um, Jock is going to demonstrate our drink for us. How you doing, Jock? What you made for us today? Check, check, check. So it consists with um, Milagro tequila, tropical Red Bull, lime, and a little bit of pineapple juice. Oh. Want to taste that? It's just delicious, right? Oh, it's amazing. It's very amazing. And a shout out to Dat Dog. I work on the one in Magazine. And they're going to be um, sold at every location. All right. That, that, that does sound awesome. All right. Awesome. Where's mine? Dad dog, dad dog, 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 I want to start with mine early. Please. Say Drake, let me, let me, Let's can I take one of these for Frida? Uh, please just take one of those, all of those, just as many as you need. <laughs> Frida, I got yours right here. Yes, please. We're going to start this run those down gospel the brunch off right. So can before, before, before we move on, guys, um, I would like to do my prayer that I normally do on Gospel Brunch on each and every Sunday, and we can lower the music just a little bit. Let everybody bow their heads. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you right now for waking us all up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. Ask you to bless us and keep your loving arms of protection around us. Continue to be our guide. Continue to be our strength. We thank you for each and every person that's here today, God. Ask you to bless their family and loved ones, God. Continue to protect them from all hurt, harm, danger, and diseases. Yes, we thank you right now, God, for all that you're doing in each and every one of our lives. Ask you to put your special blessings around us, God. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for your salvation, God. We thank you for each and everything that you're continuing to put us through, God. This COVID has touched each and every one of our lives, God, and hopefully, People saw the right thing that they need to do to fix their lives, God. We thank you right now, God. If I had 10 million tongues, it would not be enough to say how much I want to thank you. Thank, thank you, you for continuing to give me strength when I feel like I'm tired. Continue to give me strength when I feel like I'm weak. Continue to give me strength when I feel like giving up, God. And I just want to thank you, God. Thank you for your darling son, Jesus, who died on Calvary's cross, that we might have the right to the tree of life. Yes. Thank you for your Holy Ghost, who's the comforter and the ruler, God. We thank you right now, God. Just ask you to put a special blessing on each and every person that came today, God. Touch us. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, God, but we want to thank you because we all are here, God. We want to thank you, God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, let all God's children say amen. 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 God is good. All the time. Woo. I'm going to start as I normally would, and I'm going to wash my hands. So today... On the menu, 
we're doing shrimp and grits. And for the appetizer, we are doing my sausage jalapeno cornbread. All right. All right. Yes. And we also have some fruit coming out, and we also have some desserts and pastries for you guys. Y'all ready to eat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Give us a little music. So, Wild Wayne. Yes, yes. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm, I'm excited to be here today. Uh, I'm excited for uh, your cooking journey. Thank you. Um, I've, I've been doing my little cooking thing too, as well, because, you know, Corona. Wayne, what do you cook? Uh, um, I cook a lot of jerk chicken because I have a jerk seasoning brand. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just get that shameless plug in. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, I, I like to do a lot of grilling, actually, but also a lot of stuff out of my garden. I've been growing a lot of stuff because the corona makes us do some different things, and either you can take advantage of the extra time you have or not. And for me, it was also a way to kind of get back to nature a little bit more and get some vitamin D with the sun and all of those kind of good things. So uh, I've been growing a lot of things that I cook, a lot of leafy greens and uh, a lot of things with tomatoes and peppers. Uh, so that's been a lot. And then I've been doing a lot of fishing. So I've been uh, cooking what I catch and, right. and making some different dishes with, with, with the fish, especially redfish dishes. So that's my thing. And trout. Where you been cook where have you, where you been fishing? So Hopedale has been really good to me. I caught like this monster bull red, which went viral. Uh, <laughs> it was like 42 inches, 34 pounds. What? This is a big fish uh, and a lot of trout. Um, I went tarpon fishing recently. Where? Now, of course, you have to in Puerto Rico. What? But you have to let all of those go. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Fair enough. And and uh, that's been like really good to me. So uh, I've been coming up with a couple of new dishes. Like I did a, a jerk dirty rice, which was different. Okay. Very spicy, uh, and also some different jerk salmon recipes. So, uh, well, well you're going to have to teach me a little bit about the jerk, because I don't do too much of the jerk. I do the old jerk I, look, that we this, used to this do is, in 92. This, this, no, this, where you no. make your body go like, like that. <laughs> that's rumors days. That's yeah, back that's, in the rumors that's days. The old, that's the only jerk I know about. <laughs> Not that jerk. Not the jerk, baby, jerk, baby, jerk, yes, jerk, yes, jerk. Yes. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, but look, I brought the shirt too, so this is yours. Okay. And that, and that's your, that's yours. Shout out to Wild Wayne with his yeah, jerk, yeah. jerk sauce. <laughs> yeah. Make, make some magic happen in the kitchen. I'm definitely gonna make some magic happen. I yeah. appreciate that. Now, Frida, how did you start cooking? So, my mom, my grandmother, my uh -huh. aunt, just being in the kitchen as a kid. Right. Under all of them, I always wanted to be my mom's little helper. So anything she needed. Uh -huh. I was right there to assist her. Okay. And so I picked it up, you know, and I was blessed to get all of the, 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 the flavors, the ingredients from my mom and my aunt. And, and for, I, you know, and for I, me, it was similar. Because in the seven ward, in my grandma's shotgun house, with the big fans in the back, uh, <laughs> with the big shot sodas in the glass bottles, I used to sit there and watch her cook like gumbo zev or uh, seven steaks or real gumbo yeah uh, and, and I used to just watch and pay attention and I never thought I would need it because once hot boy Wild Wayne came about I was like ah oh, I, I don't need all of that but you know it stuck with me and it's amazing what you remember all those years later and uh, for me it was it was a great foundation let's say in the seven war yeah most definitely my mom always told me she was just like you know she knew I was gay so she said you're not gonna have no woman to cook for me. You better learn how to cook. Right, right. I said, well, yeah, you better teach me how to cook. You know, I was a, a fat kid, so I always wanted to be in the kitchen uh -huh. making sure I was right there, you know, mixing the cake, uh -huh. licking the bowl after. Right, you right, know. right. <laughs> it was fun days those days. And for me, as, as a, you know, when in the music business and busy all the time, my mom was like, well, if you don't know how to cook, then uh, you're gonna have a problem. Yeah. Cause the way you dealing with these women, you're not doing the right thing. They're not gonna cook for you. You have to learn how to cook yourself. And really that's, though. That's what that's what happened. Yeah. I had I'm, to learn. By necessity almost. It's good to learn how to cook, I promise you. So I'm about to whip up this jalapeno cornbread. I'm gonna show y'all a demonstration Ooh, yeah, of this please. jalapeno cornbread. So I already have my cornbread in here. I have three boxes. And I'm gonna crack three eggs. Where's my milk? 
What's your secret to good cornbread? The secret to good cornbread? Just to make sure that when you mix it all up, that it's all the same consistency. Okay, okay. I had, I had a very bad attempt at making some the other day. Oh, really? So I'm going to pay attention. So you can read the box if you choose, but I know how to eye my, eye my cornbread. And so what I did with this cornbread, Wayne, is that I, you know, the, um, I took some breakfast sausage. Okay. And I fried the breakfast sausage. And then I'm gonna add some jalapenos in it. You see that, Tony, that consistency? Make sure all your lumps out of it. Wash up just one more time. Give me paper towels, man. So, Fred, have you ever made jalapeno, is this jalapeno cornbread? Jalapeno sausage cornbread. Is this the first? This is the first. You ready for this one? Or uh, uh, yeah, we, we're the guinea pigs I'm today. I'm a fool with cornbread, period. <laughs> so, so do you like do you like spicy? Like really spicy, Frida? No, I don't like a lot of spice. I do like some kick, though. Right. A jalapeno is a good pepper then, because it's, it's not a real hot pepper. Right. It's a good flavorful pepper. I use a lot of hotter peppers for uh, the jerk, because a lot of people from the island, they want a spicy man. So it, I use habanero. Do you get down to Puerto Rico a lot or what? Uh, not a lot, uh -huh. but it was the first. It was the first. Okay. It, it was definitely amazing. You gotta let me know next time you're going, Wayne. I'm trying to go back today. <laughs> <laughs> but I would go back today in a minute. It's a beautiful place. Oh man, that's incredible. Look at that, Tony. What? Well, so has has COVID kind of slowed your roll on on moving around? Well, yes, but I'm going on a little road trip today, so. I'm I'm uh I'm going up to Philly. Okay. <laughs> so, but let's go back, to, uh, Frida. Frida, what you doing right now? So I'm getting my pan ready. I'm putting some Baker's Joy. Ain't no joy like a Baker's Joy <laughs> in this cornbread. I'm good Rouse's products. Yes. That's right. Shout so out to our sponsor, that Rouse's. brings me to one of my sponsors. Rouse's is one of my sponsors along with Tabasco and Red Bull. Okay. Yes. And Abita. And That's right. Yes. I all of my sponsors for the Garden Cookout. So I just want to make sure that's all. Oh, it's a little hot in the garden today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a little hot in the garden today. Look at that, Tony. Jalapeno sausage cornbread. That's right. Mm-hmm. Watch this magic. Hey, where can people get this recipe, Frida? Did you put it out yet? Um, it will be up on my Patreon. Okay. All okay. my Patreon members will definitely get this recipe. We've got a little digital cookbook going on on Patreon.com. So we're going to go ahead and throw that on in the oven. Facebook, what questions do y'all have? Hit me, hit me, hit me. All right. So my cornbread is in the oven. Just top my stuff up real quick. Now, what else you got on the menu today, Frida? Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Good golf shrimp ready to go. Oh, yes. And, and so, Frida, if, if you're at like a momentary stopping point, the bartenders want to show how they made this cocktail. OK, <laughs> let's do it. Tony, you want to? Uh... So Jacques, give us the rundown. How, how'd you do this? All right, so this is the Tropical te Tequila Red Bull. Um, it consists with lime, pineapple juice, Milagro Tequila, and Red Bull. Beautiful. Go ahead and make it over. Oh. Any cream in there? Are you putting cheese? No cream? Already know. Huh? Oh, you already know. Oh, we doing drinks. I'm going to put the lime. Y'all ready? He, he's doing a drink. 
bit of the garnishes. Yeah, that little drink got me hot. Last but not least, the tagine. And voila. Read. Read. We have Quintron and Miss Pussycat here too. And Quintron. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Breeder, how, how, let's, let's, you want to shout him out? Okay. Right, take it to that. We will. All right, Breeder, drink demo's over. Where are we at? So the cornbread is in the oven. I'm working on these good creamy grits. Oh, Tootie just got back with some questions from the audience. Man, we missing cards. A lot of people don't have questions. They ain't have cards. Uh, we got enough here to work with. Absolutely. Oh yeah. You, you know that's always been a big deal, what? making good grits. Because you go to other places and they'd be like, grits? What yeah. a what a grits? I can't live without them. Down south is definitely a grit thing. Well, you know that it's always important to keep that fire right. Uh-huh. Gotta keep that fire low. Yeah, you keep definitely gotta low. keep that fire low. Low and slow. Did you get a I was about to say, is that the No, I'd love to butter? have one. That is the famous butter. Full stick, baby. Tootie, what's going on? You on my Instagram? I am on your Instagram, love. Hey, my Instagram. <laughs> hey, mama's Instagram. We're gonna make it really buttery. Really buttery. Oh. That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make it Let's really do buttery. Let's drinking, That's Wayne. That's how I like it. And cheesy. We need cheesy grits. Do you want any Red Bull yours? Don't worry. Everybody like cheese in their grits? Everybody like cheesy grits? Good. Yeah. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lactose intolerant, you're in the wrong place. You safe? My shrimp here, you safe with the cheese? Pardon? Good. All right. This one, my, you have a, a nine shrimp eater here. She's allergic. Mm. So we got her plate special made. Okay. All right. Do, do we have any birthdays or, or people from out of town? <laughs> oh! We just broke on her. All she right. got a special plate. That's birthdays like every out of table. town. Hold up, hold up. All right, out of town in the house. I have a birthday. I have Quintron over here. Quintron and Miss Pussycat. All right. Yeah. Happy birthday, Quintron. <laughs> Give Happy them an extra day. shrimp. Give them an extra shrimp. It was Thursday. <laughs> Did you write that on the card? Uh oh. <laughs> Where y'all from? Where y'all from? Hattiesburg. All right. All right. All right. Hattiesburg. People checking driving in, in Hattiesburg. from Hattiesburg. All right. I'll be in Mississippi Bur this week. Okay. What's Another your birthday. name? Another birthday. Another birthday. All right, Robert. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What? Are y'all from out of town or? All right, Where Arkansas are in the house. Yo, I Where y'all from? VA. All right, VA in the house. All right. Y'all drove down from Virginia, you flew. They flew. Oh. And you just prayed that the weather was going to be all right. <laughs> you came to New Orleans in September and got your tickets. It's a cross your fingers. Hey. <laughs> much, much respect. Anybody else about a town? Okay, all right, where are you from? Watch a fire, Frida. One of the grits. All right. All right. Arizona in the house. They came out today. <laughs> I, well, I appreciate and everybody. How about y'all? Y'all drove okay. in from Orlando? You okay. flew in from Orlando. That's, that's an excellent mask you got there, by the way. Yeah, that's <laughs> 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 it's cute. Oh, so everybody on Instagram, that, everybody on Facebook, just so you know, you don't have to be in New Orleans to come to the Garden Cookout. Cheers to everybody that yeah. came in from out of town. Cheers. Yeah. Happy Sunday. Salud. Mm. Amazing. Tudes, let's see what let's see what the people want to know. So yeah, let's get these questions. Oh, you got a question? No, they oh. said they love you. They love you. Oh, I love you. Everybody screaming a little louder. Everybody.
Everybody let him guy right here. I, 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 I love you too. I'll accept it since uh, we're celebrating my birthday today too. So. Uh, oh, yeah. Happy birthday! <laughs> it is definitely Reed's birthday. We're gonna do a little something special though. Uh -huh. You know, uh, that's why I didn't say that. Oh, so. what? <laughs> you didn't have to tell him it's your birthday. I was uh, gonna tell him. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> It's coming. It's spoiling it. Huh? It's spoiling it, Reed. She had that. Uh, you know what? I knew Frida had that. it coming. Y'all, yeah. Frida got me like a dozen roses in a giant, giant vase. I never, never gotten flowers. <laughs> Well, you gotta smell your roses while you live in. Yo, this thing was you like have to smell your off. roses while you live in. Yes. We have we have appetizers. All right. Uh, Frida, st Frida, tell about the appetizers. So th this is a, a bowl of fruit. There's <laughs> <laughs> not much to tell about that. <laughs> Organic. Uh, I threw a few fruit in a bowl. <laughs> but the cornbread is coming. That's the, that's the magic. Mm. Let me check my cornbread. Oh, thank you. Gracias. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank right, you. All right, she's rising. Thank you. Instagram, let me tell y'all something. I set y'all down because it's hot, but y'all could see Frida, right? Get you, right there, my, so they could see you. Don't do that to my Instagram. <laughs> it's hot. But I wanted them to know we could see them and they could see uh, us. All right, Frida. I don't have names because these are on sheets of paper. Uh-huh. But what do you like most about working and living in New Orleans? What I work, what I love most about working and living in New Orleans. Well, because I'm from here, first Papa, and foremost. Yes, you can pay at the door. Um, there's no but place if you like come home. And, come, if you come to and I mean, I love to work in New Orleans because usually when I'm working at home, it's not a lot of travel expenses. <laughs> I knew it. It's cheaper <laughs> for me. I, I just come straight it. from my house. And so, I mean, it's no place like home. The people, um, just the feeling, they know all of my music. It's, it's not like going to a New right. club. Last night was off the chain. Oh, and, and, the, and they had to-go drinks. They did. So Frida, Kim would like to know, where, where's Kim by way of England? All right, baby. All right. So, so you live here now, but you're from England? You're, to England? Yeah. What town? No way. Yes. We'll come visit you. Yes. Oh. Book a show. <laughs> <laughs> Book a show. <laughs> Book a show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, uh, where were we last time? In the southern coast, we were in Bristol, and that was gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was, it that was gorgeous. That was beautiful. Yeah. Uh. Okay, okay, I got, I got a segue Happy on that one. Because I just did one. I'm excited. Yeah, let's, let's tell Instagram. Bobby's here too. Bobby's here. Where are you going? Oh, it's Sunday. She, what you got, Reed? She needs it. Well, Wayne was about to ask about this documentary that you just did. Yeah, yeah. So my question is, I didn't write mine down on the paper, uh, but I just finished uh, with the the, the the movie with Jamie Foxx, uh, Project Power. So I was featured on that one. Okay. But I heard you got some movie stuff going on as well right now, and a documentary. Yes, I do. So so let the world know about it. We need to know about it. Big Frida has a documentary coming out. Give it up. Give it up. Yeah. <laughs> And is getting ready to do uh, some incredible work on another movie that they're shooting uh, uh, out in our sister state, Mississippi. That's coming up as well. Yes, Tell us week. about it, because the big screen is where it's SAG checks are real. I love them. <laughs> yes, residual. Right? But, yeah. <laughs> so this week I'm going to Mississippi and I'm shooting a horror movie. Uh, my first horror movie, so I'm excited about that. It's going to get a little spooky, right, you know? Right, right. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And also, I just came out with a documentary that is um, called Frida Got a Gun, and it's a documentary talking about the violence that we face here in New Orleans and the gun violence right. um, epidemic that we face and um, about losing my brother and about losing my, my cousin Cardell to the justice system and fight, still fighting for that. So this documentary is really deep to me, it's very close to me, um, and it's just it's trying to put some light on all the things that our youth have to face here in New Orleans and, and trying to figure out solutions right. 
to make things better for them. Um, some of the things that I saw growing up as a kid, it has just gotten worse. And, um, you know, kids should be kids and, and they should have a safe haven that they can go to. And this documentary just explains what we need all of us to do as a whole, as mm -hmm. a community and as a force just to try to, to make change happen. Now, what part of town did you grow up in, Frida? Uptown, Third Ward, Josephine. So, <laughs> Josephine. Oh, so, yes. I know how hot it was uptown. I lived six in Barone. Yeah. And I lived that six in Carondelet as well. I, I, I stayed around as sites. well. So, it was like really hot. Yes. Uptown during that time. How did how did you make it past all the foolishness that was going on? Church. Okay. Church. My mom made sure that <laughs> when I every week it was choir rehearsal for me. It was uh, Sunday school on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was church. It, I, she kept me in church, and that's what kept me safe. That was my safe haven. That was the place where I went to to get away from everything that I was going through in the neighborhood with, you know, being picked on, being called gay. The stuff I had to deal with at school, right, you know, right. dealing with work. Mm -hmm. Church was my safe haven, and I felt accepted. I I got lots of love there. I was the choir director. Um, okay. You know, okay. that's where my musical background come from. Mm -hmm. So at an early age, I I you know, got into church, and that that had that was my outlet to kind of save me. And then I went away to school, to college, to USL. Okay. And so she kept pushing us to do better and mm -hmm. get out the. The, the hood. The rat race of the hood. Yeah. Do you do you uh, give some of those solutions in the documentary, like some ideas for a, oh, a many change? Ideas. Oh, yeah, definitely, because I talk to the peacekeepers. I talk to different organizations okay. here in New Orleans that can help uh, try to resolve some of these situations that our youth are facing. So, yeah, we were we were fixing, you know, trying to fix it as we were going through the documentary mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. trying to figure out solutions to help these kids. Right. Options. When, when, yeah. when can we look for this documentary? Well, it's coming out on Peacock on October the 15th. NBC? Uh, yeah, all on right. Peacock. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. And we're working on uh, Netflix and some other networks to pick it up. Okay. Okay. So, fingers crossed. So, if y'all are watching live, some of y'all uh, check cutters and decision makers, uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> Reed's right there. Yeah, just send him your number. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, All right, my your famous cornbread is out. Yeah, the, cor oh, the cor cornbread. Cor it's starting to hit some of these tables. Okay. Cornbread. Okay. They say cornbread. Cornbread is out. Oh, they say cornbread. I say. <laughs> so I have a question from Quintron, Quintron, and Pussycat over there, right? Yeah, that's the birthday. Okay. They want to know: Did Big Frida ever call in for the nine o'clock props? <laughs> of, also, of course, of <laughs> course. The it's the nine o'clock props. The nine o'clock props is on. Tell me Tell where me you calling from. You know I called in. <laughs> they want to know where did that beat come from? I, I did several beats, but the one that probably was the most prolific was the one from Manny Fresh. Yeah. And that was the <laughs> one that started, hey, you, what's, what's your, your name? name? You're on the radio with, with your boy, boy Rahway. Yeah. yeah so that. did you get through? Did you get gone? Of course. Oh. <laughs> No, but there were some notable people that started on the 9 o'clock props. Lil Wayne dropped the verse many years ago. Turk. Uh, Chopper was Lil Darwin back then. Uh, yeah. Frida. And, and, and many more. So I, that's always exciting because that was a whole other chapter. But people remember it. I was excited to see you in the documentary, too, for, uh, With for Pete? No, yeah, yeah. No Limit. Yeah. No Limit uh, Chronicles. So that's ironic. Your documentary is about to come out. I, I shot the uh, No Limit Chronicles. Uh, with BET like at the end of last year and uh, it came out it was the most watched show on BET in years. Wow. Uh, but it was always interesting to see like some of the cornerstones and foundation of New Orleans hip hop and uh, how Pete elevated it to a whole nother level. Yeah, he was uh, a mastermind. Yeah, him and, and I always got to give uh, Brian Williams from Cash Money oh, his yeah, props both as of well. Them. Both of them. Two, <laughs> two mega Labels from one small city that changed the course of his hip hop history. Yeah, they yeah. did. So, they did. And Most I was in definitely. the middle of all of that. So, uh, but that was good stuff. Good stuff. So, do we have an update on the uh, shrimp and grits. What's what's what are we doing there? Oh, the shrimp and grits is about to come out next. Oh, okay. Your grits is ready. Mm. How long does that take to cook? If I was at home in my kitchen. 
What, grits? Yeah, I don't cook grits. About 15 minutes. Grits is usually, they, they tell you on the pack it's five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you want to make sure it's about 15, 20 okay. to get it nice and soft. You don't want that gritty grit. Gotcha. Yeah. You Low and cook. slow. Low and slow. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> now, now, do you add cream to your grits? No. You let the cheese <laughs> create a little creaminess to it? Yeah, but I mean, you, you, you have to have your water light. Your water and your salt, that's right. all you need. I don't cream, I know. Right. I, I see people doing that all the time, I but I don't taste that cream. big of a difference. No. Once you add butter and cheese anyway. Right. On the back end. We never put cream. And if you season your shrimp right anyway, yeah. they ought to start a show. That's it. <laughs> they right? should be, right? Right. So Frida, somebody wants to know if they'll, you, you'll autograph their book after the, after the live stream. Most definitely. Who, who asked? All right, all right. Yeah, normally we've got these cards and they've got like names and stuff on them, but you know, we just have sheets of paper today. Now, so. what book is it? We just got a memoir, God yes, Save the God Queen. Save the Queen Diva. Speak on it for those that don't yes, know. My book has been out for a few years now, but it's coming out on paperback uh, in December. A great stocking stuffer, you know. <laughs> just in time for the holidays. It's also a great read, though. It just tells about my story and where I started and, and, you know, currently to where I'm at now mm -hmm. and um, just the adversities I had to face and, you know, it tells the good and the bad. You know, my mom, my family's mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, about a little portion of my life. So how has your life changed since you lost your mom? Because I know she was very important to you. Oh, she was my biggest cheerleader. It, it changed in so many ways. You know, she was my rock and my everything. Um, you know, but my mom had cancer and she was suffering, so she's at peace now and I'm at peace. Right, right, Knowing right. that she's at peace and in a better place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I miss her every day. And, right, um, right, there's right. There's nothing I can change about that. Um, I just try to keep on moving on and keep on mm -hmm. pushing. I, I wanted to thank you personally, because uh, uh, my family started the Benjamin Yancey Foundation, which was for breast cancer and pancreatic cancer awareness. And, some of your donations of your uh, wine as some giveaways at yeah. our fundraisers has been very instrumental in drawing people out there. And they were so very excited. So thank you as You're well welcome. Yeah. Uh, for those donations. You're welcome. Yeah. And we have Cotta Frida over here today and mimosas if y'all want to get Cotta Frida, my, uh, my rosé um, is available. We went all the way to Dallas to get them. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. And it's also Heart Awareness Month. So that's okay. why I mm -hmm. did the red and white and you know representing for the hearts mm -hmm. um you know okay, I just and next month we'll be color. representing for breast cancer and, and be pink yeah we're going pink we're going pink baby and, and look just a quick shameless plug we're doing our annual sister strut which will be a procession through city park october 3rd so which is uh for breast cancer awareness okay, for all the survivors and the fighters and their support team. team. So that'll be October yeah. 3rd yeah here in City Park as well. It's always around my mom's birthday yeah, so yeah. every year. Yeah. She's on a second, so. She's watching. Yeah, all she's most, watching. All, all, most definitely. You know, Frida, a couple of people on Facebook have pointed Nelly, out. Nelly, come on. A couple people on, on Facebook have pointed out that uh, we should remind everyone, Tell them put the if they haven't registered, to register to vote and yes. make sure they get out and vote. Please get out and vote. And make sure while you're shaking to the pole, shake it to the pole. So did you see the, did you see the video? Uh, oh, yes. The shakers the, encouraging people to go. Yeah. <laughs> the strippers went viral. They went viral on their, you know, their Quickly. campaign. <laughs> Well, I definitely took mine because I'm on the census commercial. Right. <laughs> I was encouraging y'all to go take y'all, so they made sure they had it at my door. But yes, I um I did the campaign for census this year. So how did you do your? Did you do the paper or the phone or the digital one? You what pay, uh, census fill out? Oh, I called on the phone and so just. I think the big thing like people don't realize, and we are like Louisiana is second to last in the country right now. And people don't understand how important uh, the census is for allocation to communities uh, around this state. So if we're at the end, I think they said over a billion dollars we could potentially lose 
But I think people also don't realize how easy it is this year to fill out the census. Like, it literally is like four questions if you do it digitally. Like, it takes no more than two minutes. So listen, one of the reasons that people don't want to fill out the census is because you think the government is getting your information. And people watching. They Listen, <laughs> but it's also how they keep count and how they give us money for the different communities, you know, and for different things in our cities. So right. it's very important. I was scared when I filled it out. I was like, I don't want them. Well, I'm already in the system, so why not, Frida? <laughs> so, you know, I, at first, I was, that's how right. I was. I was just like, I'm not filling this out. But then I was just like, I got to do what I need to do to make sure we get the proper count. I, I mean, you, they're blowing your door down anyway. Folks don't realize that disenfranchised communities like really suffer when you don't fill out these uh, census because they really don't have a gauge on how many people actually live in your community. And, and uh, like I did a couple of interviews with the census folks as well, locally and um, nationally. Uh, and another issue is, and this is important, like Thank the high amount are. of incarceration of black men, like they don't get a chance to fill out the census for their community. Their census is filled out in the penitentiary where they are. So, or, or whatever jail place that they are. So them dollars don't actually get allocated for their community. So everybody else needs to fill them out. You know, that's how these communities get redlined all the time. It's very important. And it has to do with your political representation. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well. Add that. We're table 10. We're ready. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes table, table 10. 10. <laughs> table 10. More from table 10. They speak on your important dates. October 5th is the last day to register in person or in mail. October 13th is the last day to register online. October 16th through the 17th is the last day voting. Wait, I'm sorry. At October 16th through the 17th is early voting, except for Sundays. 16th through the 27th. Yeah, Ooh. what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry. The wrong so thing. What's going on? I'm trying to <laughs> I'm saying I'm here. Right. So October 30th is the last day to request your. Uh, what is it? The absence ballot? Absentee. Absentee ballot. Do not wait until the last minute. Request this today. November 2nd is the last day to return your mail in your ballot. And November 3rd, I mean, November 3rd is election day. Your vote matters. Table 10 do their thing. They yeah! <laughs> Make sure y'all go out and vote, do all the things y'all need to be to be accountable in this city and in this world. And one, one last thing, uh, September 30th, if you haven't filled out the census yet, is the last day to fill that out. It's only yeah. days away, days away. Look, yeah. at, look at Big Frida's Garden Cookout really just being uh, on top of their civic duty. That's right, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Incredible. I love that. All right. Frida, what is your favorite gospel song? What is my favorite gospel song? That is hard, Tootie. I know, and that just came out of my head. That's not even a question. For that, I mean, I have so many. Um, we sing a lot on Sunday on the Yeah, Friday. I mean, there, there are so many gospel songs I love. Um, I love a lot of stuff by the Gospel Soul Children. I love Milton Brunson. I love Hezekiah Walker. I love Mahalia Jackson. There's so many greats that I grew up off of, um, that's a hard selection. So what made you do uh, Sunday brunch in the garden outside of your normal Thursday? Why was today so important for you to cancel Friday and do it today? Well, um, they, they actually had something planned at the garden, but um, <laughs> I'm, you know, just keeping it real, they had something at the garden, so we had to move it to Sunday. But also, this is the fan favorite, gospel brunch, so we wanted to do it where we have do it at City Park um, versus doing it at home. Okay, okay. It's more personable when it's at home. Right. You know? Amen. Mm. I have another question, but I'm scared to ask because I kind of know the answer. <laughs> I would first like to ask, are you single? No, I'm not. I didn't think so. <laughs> so someone wanted to know, do you like me, yes or no? Like in elementary, when we used to put the check marks in. Oh my God, girl. I don't know who wrote this. Well, good that you don't know who wrote it. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to leave that answer behind. <laughs> I am not single. Yes, I definitely have a father. I mean, I was made some type of weight. You know? <laughs> 
free this cornbread is good. Is it? Yes. Y'all like the cornbread? We like the cornbread. All yeah. right, all right. That's Stop new for it. me. That's the new cornbread. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's hot, y'all. It is hot today. Oh my God. DJ Papa trying to get in. Where you at? Papa's outside. Papa, look. He was outside. He was like, I'm on my way. I need to get in. I'm coming. I said, Papa, just come, come on. on. He was like, I'm These people right need now. to reach out beforehand <laughs> if they're trying to get into the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, tell them, come on. I told him that. I come said, on. Papa, what do you want me to tell him? Just tell him to come next week. No, <laughs> tell him come in. Come on right now, man. All right, He's on five, Instagram five. watching. <laughs> I'm part of the, I told him to come. I was uh, like, come on. Uh, he was like, I'm about to come right now. So you show. Sure? I said, Look, you got to tell the people at the front. <laughs> oh, where's Meredith? We can get Meredith out there for him. Meredith, Meredith can you right get there. Papa from the door, please? He's at the Frida, front. Look, text him. This is coming. What's that, Wayne? I'm going uh, to get you something as soon as we finish. Oh my God. Jerk chicken sausage. That looks so fire. Me and uh, Vance Volperson got together to put it, put a little sharp, sharp. Oh. Right. I'm going to send you some. Yes, please. And let me uh -huh. tell you, it's good. No, I'm just waiting on my cornbread. Should be coming out in just a second. Oh, yes, baby. She's brown. Where you at, Tony? Tony. Oh, Tony's, Tony's running the board. You good. Are you told Meredith to go up there? Yeah, she's on Yeah, Meredith already gone. I'm stuck mm. in my face with cornbread. I need a minute. Okay, I'm kicking this. I usually this. eat. I'm doing three jobs right now. All right, we're kicking this over to Facebook, y'all. We need questions in from Facebook. Hit us. Y'all, Shrimp and Grits should be coming out in just a second. What my Instagram lovers at? Yes, Charmaine, that is indeed wild way. Come see Tony. Pop! There go Papa right there. If y'all want to head pop, if y'all want to taste this food, Book your tickets for next week. Oh my God, I got look at crumbs that. on my mouth. Ain't that Ooh. beautiful? We got Papa just Frozen. walked into the building. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, go ask some merch. Maybe look, Pop. Go get one over that table. They are twenty dollars. Go ahead and get one and <laughs> contribute to the code. Uh -uh. Go get your mask. Uh -huh. <laughs> go get your mask. I love it. Love it now. <laughs> How much on it? <laughs> Brandy wants to know when you're coming to Shreveport. <laughs> when the He's world opens up. Right <laughs> when the world yeah. opens up. Brandy, we'll, 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 we'll try and get I do have some shows coming up though. I'm so happy. Wait, really? Do we <laughs> require dancers? No. Girl, this is <laughs> not <cool. yet. laughs> not yet, daughter. I'm gonna let you know as soon as it is. This is <laughs> They're making you like. socially distant. Yeah. <laughs> coming soon, daughter. Coming soon. I'm, I'm going to wait. Somebody, I'm going to wait. I'm waiting long enough. Somebody out there wants to know who you think is the sexiest Saints player. The sexiest Saints player. <laughs> oh, my God. Who asked that? Who asked who the I'm not answering player? that. You're, do, you, do you have, like, 14 cards in here? Huh? <laughs> I'm not answering that, Bobby. He fine, though. <laughs> they gonna win today? I hope. I don't know. With the fan free down? I just don't know. I just I'm from New Orleans. Who asked that question? This lovely lady in, in the in the big hat over there that's being served at the moment. I'ma tell her later. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that on Wait, camera. I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, you just asked if the man's tangled. Yeah. And now you want to find out you're trying to put him in that, in that trap. Uh. He's throwing crosses like that. Don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm waiting on y'all to ask me questions to answer. That's I'm, Instagram. Yeah, that's Instagram. Come give him some love, huh? Where my people at, girl? They're right there, girl. It's hot, y'all. Oh, it's so, girl. It's I hot in the garden. Go Sunday brunch. I thought we were going to be in your house. Uh, no, it is hot. <laughs> It is definitely hot. I'm gotta, ready for these shrimp and grits. I'm ready for in the cornbread. Up the up the heat level. Oh. Hey make make it spicy. Cause you got the little syrup drizzle on it. 
spicy and savory. Yeah, at the same oh, time. yeah. And a little, I love, sweet. I, I love sweet and savory. Sweet and so you like spicy? You like spicy? You look like a hot, a hot. Yeah, oh, yeah. She is hot. Muy caliente. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am. You like the, the hot to make your nose sweat? Yes. The little sweat. Because I'm a seafood head, so I love hot seafood. Oh yeah. What's up, Nitra? It has to be. What's up, Right, right, right. Because all these little Hot. people popping up with these boiling spots, they don't even know what they're no, doing. They don't, they don't even know like, the they right Like, they look recipe. good or whatever, but <laughs> with all that, but a ton of butter and green yeah, stuff no, on it, yeah, like, and they like don't the have the flavor. And all that. Listen, you could save all the extra drink. Correct. And just put the seasoning in the water. That's all we need. That's all I need. What? The people that Every, come out All these Instagram plate, boilers. Like, add all that, oh. top it and drizzle it with butter and all That's the thing. And don't have no flavor. And it be just bland No flavor. Pepper. Just a whole bunch of butter and green stuff on uh, it. You, you got to go to D's uh -uh. Quiz it. He, he a fool. Is he open? I, I heard he was closed he for a minute. for my dad's smokehouse. And this man came with cans of seafood. It was off the street. I had it. I'll never forget that smokehouse. It was I don't know what D's Quiz it got going, but man. He, he got it on lock. Yeah, he, he, he definitely. Line like, down the all the like way to St. Claude. Man, His flavor like, is off I'm the not chain. No seafood if I gotta wait two hours for it. But they got a system. That little system of order and yes. pick up. Yeah. Somebody told me it was the closed, pandemic. Dude. I think helped everybody out with that little system. Yeah. Order before you call. <laughs> Curbside. It. It'll be out to you. No, you know where it really helped? People sent their money in advance. Yeah. Like, okay, so you already know how much so you know how much you're gonna make. And if you don't come, then hey, that's cash have me you. a check. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's some real stuff. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry. Well, actually, you're you just looking at the, the wall now because up. I moved. <laughs> but before then, I was asking y'all, did y'all have any questions for the queen? Mama, did someone ask from Instagram, what made you want to start Sunday brunch? What made me start Sunday brunch? Mm -hmm. uh, I actually started Sunday brunch when COVID hit. And I was doing Sunday brunch and what you're cooking Wednesdays just from my house and yeah. something to do for myself and for my fans. Y'all heard that? Brenda Jones wants to know it's if you've ever been to Little Rock, Arkansas. I have. <laughs> ah, I haven't right. been to Little Rock in a while, but I have been there once to perform. Oh, you, yeah. At, what was it? The Rev Room? Or the, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The Rev Room. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you've been there a few times. It's been a long time. <laughs> this year. Huh? <laughs> We've been there none this year. Oh, that's why I forgot. <laughs> there you go, Pop. So wait, question. Um, someone about, someone wants to know, can they buy Sunday brunch tickets I, I on the website or is this the only Sunday that you are doing this? This is the only Sunday for now. This is the only Sunday for now. Yes. And you got to go to check out bigfreedom.com for all your latest um, <laughs> cooking events to get your tickets for the show. Everything is on www.bigfreedom.com. That's right. Sid Sydney Frames, also from Little Rock, is saying come back to the Rev Room, too. So we got we got a bunch of Little Rock fans in the house. All right. Tonight. Little Rock back open. Are they in phase three? <laughs> Let me tell y'all. You cannot well, well, ask Little Rock no in phase three yet. Yeah. I'm the Instagram host. Y'all in phase right? three? So I'm going to just keep it a little huh? 1,000 with y'all. Y'all know we're not coming to these places if the world closed. For real? <laughs> or see, though. We're in phase two, but phase four. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw the fuck away. Oh, no, I'm not. My little table of lovely ladies over there. How y'all doing? All right, they say food's coming out. I was about out. to do it. <laughs> I'm back. All right, let's go, Meredith. The food is All out. Right. Yeah. Big Frida is cooking um grits and oh shrimp. Oh my God. Oh yeah. What kind bread? Great. Look at that. Ooh. Yep. Bring it in, bring it. Ooh, don't don't serve me, Reed. You know I love you. Oh, oh my I love God. Him. Thank you, thank this you. This is 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Frida is cooking for Sunday brunch. I Do am down that? with this. Oh my God. Let's get into, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. That is delicioso. Recent, yeah. mm. mm. It's so good. Look, look over here. That's a good birthday. Now yeah, this stuff recent. Recent, mm. I'm actually going to use some Tabasco. I don't Tabasco? know if she ships plates, but what I do know is you can get the recipes nope. of these items and make it yourself. Reed, they, have, they might have, they have some on another table. Oh, they've, they've got plenty of Tabasco around here. Yeah. Won't be tough for me to find. Is it there, is. I might just open the ones in the display case. No, I'm just kidding. They don't have any. Oh, you <laughs> want one? What's that? No, don't worry about it. I'll find some. Do you do want we, one? Do we have salt and pepper? You could sprinkle it. <laughs> this mine's it anyway, huh? So good, yep. Let's it let's is. put this it on really camera. Is. Yeah. Open. Hey y'all. Oh, hey Tabasco. What? You need ah. to send us a new display because I'm about to open this. Yep. I need the one with the Chipotle. The Chipotle one? Yeah. Let's do this. Let you might want to ask your tables if they want some too. Oh, they, oh, they, they have got some. some. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Tabasco's on it, baby. Please, I love it. <laughs> Like Where's my hen dough? They missed me this week. All right, Wayne, I'm with you, man. Supposedly. You and me. Mm. Good smoky flavor. You doing supposedly? I am. Wow. Let's, let's make sure we get our good product placement. Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly. Here I come. <laughs> Y'all have been asking for Sunday brunch, and here you have it. Frida, are oh, there recipes hot. to this on? Hot, hot. In the cookbook? Hot, hot. Come on. Uh -huh. Is the recipe to this in the cookbook already? It will so be. It'll be, yeah. I'll be on Patreon. It will be on Patreon to all my Patreon members. We actually did this on Gospel Brunch before, on the one at home. Oh, the, the y'all heard her. I don't have to repeat that, huh? Mm-hmm. How am I going to get you a plate? Who is that? Someone. Someone. Oh, my little pink purse comes from MCM, and you don't want that bag. I don't even want that bag. It is a $1,500 bag. Um, oh. Yeah, dessert. Dessert? Tell them you're going to email them a plate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it'll come from Reed emails, and y'all love him so much. We're going to have Reed email y'all this. Um. Damn, that I is so good. I'll probably go in the back just for a second to help. Thank you. All right, Tate Sudi. It's so good. I'm all in it. I'm like, I need uh, Juan to play one of our original gospel songs that we sang on a bus so we could sing and eat like a family. We got some gospel um, with that beat? No, we don't. Not yet. Frida. Um, we can do I like Petey. Like thinking about it already. Petey. What's our Sunday van, our tour bus Sunday gospel song that we can do? Salvation and Glory. Salvation and Glory. Yo, DJ, you got Salvation and Glory? Yes, he do. Let's crank it up. By Stephen Hurd. Stephen Hurd. Yeah. And we can do Total Praise. We can do I Told the Storm. You know once we start, it'd uh -huh. be so hard for us to stop. I, I'll play I Told the Storm. Remember, we pulled up to the airport and we were doing our Sunday service and them people were just like, I love y'all. No, the Maybe driver, the mm -hmm. driver yeah. was like, man, I never had no riders to do that. She started crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was powerful. We're oh my God. Huh? Cornbread time, huh? Yeah. You <laughs> smelt it. Yes, I did. I was about to forget. We're going to get a dessert out here. And then we're gonna Freddie, get someone okay. asked, who would you like to do a gospel collab with? That's a good question. A gospel collab? Yeah. Kelly Price. Oh, she said Kelly Price. That's good. But Kelly not a gospel singer, huh? If it had to be a gospel singer. Kelly come from gospel. Oh, all right. We all come from gospel, just about. Okay, okay. You and Kirk Franklin, I think, will be oh, high. Kirk Frank, yeah. The energy. He's Kirk Franklin, Mary Mary, Yolanda Adams. You know. Mm, they all have it. Like, 
during this pandemic period, what have you been doing to keep it moving? Because a lot of artists on freeze. Yeah. Like, and really, if they, I'm going to turn the camera so y'all can get this answer. It could get show revenue, which is really where people make money now. Nay, is my teacher okay? Streams to pay pennies on the dollar. Yeah. So what have you been doing, really, to fill the gaps during this pandemic? Thank you. Artists? Well, just honestly, you know, I already have my hands in so many different other things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've just been grinding and mm -hmm. and just getting it out the mud. Right, but right. me and Reed have been putting our heads together, and we have this just been thinking of all kind hey, of stuff. Girl. We've been doing um, virtual shows. We've been doing um, the cooking. Mm -hmm. This? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been <laughs> salvation. No, uh, so have you talked to other artists, like, out there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are they Every, suffering? A lot of people are suffering. Right, right, yeah. right. A lot of people are suffering. If you're not on the road, you know, a lot of people strictly depend on touring income. That's it? Yeah. Gig and, economy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes when you get songs online, you know, if it's not a fresh hit. Right, right, right. You ain't getting no, but pennies. Yeah. Hmm. So what's, what's, what's your uh, expected timeline on getting back to you know is it based upon just the phases of the different places hey, Lizzie, or some places more home. wide open right now than yeah. others trying to book you or what yeah houston's back wide open you know uh atlanta uh -huh. yeah places that are opening back up nashville i have a driving concert coming up mm -hmm. so we're getting back slowly but surely now what's gonna happen when new orleans is back up you've got something special lined up because the people ready uh, are they ready the people ready ready uh, listen we you we got gonna, something we're, up we're, your sleeve yet of course we're, we're trying to get a concert series going on out here outside of the Garden. okay okay yeah because the people are ready you, they want to sing something man who you talking who you talking <laughs> we are very eager but i worry about to shake something <laughs> <laughs> all right, all yeah. right. Yeah. We're popping pop bottle. bottles, baby. Pop a bottle. La Cotta Frida. Mm. La Cotta Frida. Just be aware of that. Uh, I'm going to go get I'm going to go get this dessert. Okay. Where are you going? We're going to get the dessert. Uh, you come see. They're they going to get it. <laughs> Check it out, Melissa. Read it, read it. Read it, read it. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> This is some damn good oh, Tabasco. Man, you know what I like to put this on? Uh -huh. It says smoky. Ribs. Right, turn it up. Yeah. Put it on ribs. Let it marinate, and then just put them on the grill. Because, you know, the thicker barbecue sauce is going to burn. But eat. they got you know so I much vinegar in it, not only where it's a little thinner. Slow cook with that. Because this is not that hot. This chipotle is not that hot. It's not. I could, I could barbecue, too. I could throw it out on the grill. You know, what? You know I had Daiquiri Island after Katrina. Oh, and, oh and, yeah, and I remember. I remember I had yeah, uh, yeah. My biggest day was Wednesday barbecue. And everybody was fixing houses and stuff. See the smoke, but I used that almost exclusively. That and uh, Worcestershire sauce. Let it go. Woo, when I tell you, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> good stuff. Do you when you when you barbecue? Do you uh, pre-boil your meat? Never. Straight. Never. Like, and a lot of people. That's like a new. I, I thought it was just a New Orleans thing, but a lot of people, bread. you got to do slow and low. Yeah, but see, uh, that takes too long. I, now, if you got a big, you got to cook for a lot of people. Of course. Then I you gotta, always, I always, part yeah. boy, yeah. save yeah, some time. Right. I, I always have to cook for the whole family. So I'm, when I'm grilling, I'm grilling, you know, six big packs of chicken. Right, right, right. You know, different kind of chicken. I'm doing ribs. Let I'm me tell you why I, don't like the par, why I don't like to parboil. Because the fat on the meat is really what gets your fire going. And the poor boil cooks all of the fat off of your meat. Well, see, I but you have to sit on top of your meat much. Like, you really got to be there yeah. if you don't poor boil it because your flames will make it black. Yeah, exactly. So, but a lot of people like to love, love to poor boil. I can't get into yes. that. Let me, let me do it that, that way. Yeah, I need another one of these tequila yeah. Red Bull joints. Uh, Give me a little. Drake, a little. Well, Drake, Drake, we ain't need another. Um, yeah, we need, what they need a things? refill. Yeah. Well, oh, look put, at that guy. Put go. some spice look in my life. <laughs> look, check, check out the shirt. Unroll the shirt so you can see it. That, that's, that's you. All day. 
Is this is this the jerk magic? Yes. Oh yes, this this is definitely <laughs> my. That's you. That's you. But have you been jerked yet? <laughs> the dandara. The dandara. The dandara sauce. Oh yeah. So you're really gonna have to use the dandara, baby. You gotta let me know what you make with it. Put put some spice in your life. I, I I'm definitely gonna make some chicken for sure. And you can just throw it on there. You don't that might be my meal today. Hey, there it is. I was about to say, uh, how much you want I still probably have, I'm going I'm to have to cook when I get home. That's what's up. That's what's up. Cook so much. I got to cook my Sunday dinner. My man got to eat. I heard that. I now, what you, so you, you, you haven't figured out what's on the menu yet for, for later? No, not really, because I'm going to have to go to the grocery. Huh? Oh. Here. One here, one here, one there. We got a couple cups. Get to it in, in Wawain. Appreciate it. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Put that on the top. Frida, they want to know they want you to speak on your new jacket. Third stitching clothing. My brother in law, Arthur. Yes, yes. He takes care of my jackets and my hats. Shout out to Arthur. Arthur. Mm -hmm. You sure was. You sure was. I'll tell you, this tequila drink is good, but it got my head sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Any little alcohol. You go see when he makes this Henny Rita. I'm at this Henny Frida. Frida Rita? Yeah, Frida Rita, Henny Rita, Mita, all that. Uh, on the all right, y'all. We're going to sing Happy Birthday to Reed. Oh, We're going to yeah. sing Happy Birthday to Reed. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dearie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> now what a... And many more. Where's the candles, girl? Who's got the lighter, girl? We gotta make a no, wish, that's okay. Man. We don't want him to blow Thank all over Frida. the cake. Huh? <laughs> Go ahead, Reed. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's your birthday. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come it's on. Twerk it out. Oh, it's your birthday. No, it's your birthday. Hey. <laughs> this man cuts up, bro. Yeah. He says the best out of all of us. I love it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Reed. Oh, love Reed. you. Love you. <laughs> mm. so Y'all, this is. What am I gonna do with this? That's my hitter right there. Y'all gotta help me eat this. We will. Yeah. Just push it up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Swiss cake, there, baby. Oh my Swiss God. Can I get pieces for everybody in the audience, please? We, we, yes. So Wanda, my cake lady, who mm. take care of all of my desserts, uh, she didn't make this cake, Swiss did this one, but Wanda made all of the desserts and pastries that you guys are about to taste. And she's a fool. She made me a cake too. It's not my birthday, but she made me a cake. Wanda said, I got a cake for you too. Huh? It's hot, girl. Freddie, you want to take us home on the live stream? I want to thank everybody for coming to the Garden Cookout today with the Queen Diva. Yeah. To this gospel brunch edition, I want to thank my, my special guest, Wild Wayne. He's always been showing me much, much love since I started with this bounce stuff, and that's been 20 years now. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I've been having a lot of great supporters and friends around me, and thank you for just being a great supporter and friend uh, for such a long time. Thank each and every one of you for coming out. Uh, I couldn't have done this without you guys. Yeah. Jeremy, you already know. Bow down. Don't do that. Uh, so we're going to keep partying, but the broadcast is off.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you? How old are you? Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and you smell like one kid. <laughs> Unchurched experience, Kitty Black, Kiara.